Hey, hey, welcome back to PEM STEM, YouTube channel for everything STEM related, especially the current project that we're looking at, which is the uh, marine green energy project we're doing in primary schools and moving up to secondary. So um, we've looked at in the in the basic tutorial now how we can use the wizard, now how we could find a ready made turbine down here in shape generators and we could change the number of blades and the pitch on it and stuff like that all good all good um but we're going to try and see if we can do anything a little bit more fancy fancy right well we certainly can if we use our imaginations we can do all sorts of stuff in this program so look i've got a menu here of basic shapes we call them primitives okay so i've got my mem menu of primitives here and i'm gonna look for some shapes that i'm going to use i'm going to start off by using this shape here it's got a parabola um a squash one of these is hanging on the wall outside your house as a as your um satellite dish so it's a, a clever shape we're not going to go into that right now okay now i'm going to look through uh, the menu for things that i might be able to use as propeller blades now you might be thinking rectangles and stuff like that but do you know what i'm going to just like see if we can learn anything from the uh turbine blades that you'll see on large scale uh wind wind turbines unlike the ones that we've seen pictures of offshore right so i've grabbed a hemisphere half a sphere there okay you might be thinking how on earth are you going to make a propeller blade from that well I'll keep watching okay because what i can do to any shape is i can change it i'm going to pull it down and make it not as tall so three millimeters tall by right there right now next job i'm going to click on it again and i'm going to stretch it to make it longer okay now let's just pop that into there a second Right, hang on, I'm going to line these two up a second. So I'm going to grab those two, I'm going to go over to my align button. I'm going to click on the target that I'm going to align to. That's the that's the, the parabola bit that's going to be called my nacelle. I click on that little black dot in the middle and it's going to line those up for me. Lovely. <clears throat> right, let's get a bit physically right. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how a, a wing section, this shape here, if we look end on to it, generates what we call lift, right? So, when the wind flows over the wing, some of the wind goes above the wing and some of it goes underneath the wing. So, the wind going above the wing has got further to travel than the wind going underneath the wing. What that means is you end up with a low pressure area above the wing and a higher pressure area under the wing, and that gives us lift pushes the wing up into the air so long as the wind is flowing over it with sufficient speed it'll generate lift and that is how our turbine is going to turn right okay so what we're going to try and see now i think we probably will have to put a bit of a pitch onto it like this okay we can put a 22 millimeter pitch or something on there i think i'm probably gonna have to realign these now so if i click on that one and click on the nacelle that's the, the gray bit Go back to my align button and click on the nacelle and click on this one here. I'm hoping it's going to nudge it across a little bit. Yes, that's good. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to lift it up in the air like so. Now, you can see what I've got. I've got a propeller blade, which is sticking into my shape nicely. Right, now, next job. So, I want more than one of those propeller blades. So, do I have to redraw it every time? No, I don't. Okay, so look what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut, Control D. That's a keyboard shortcut for this button up here. Okay, duplicate and repeat. Uh, okay, with that one done, now what I can do is I can push my copy of my shape over to the other side of the propeller blade, like so, as you can see. Now, what we, we're after, right, is, and just click onto orthogonal view a minute and go top view. We're after those being the same the same distance out on either side so i'm going to stop about there okay now currently those blades are pointing in the same direction which is no good for what we're after okay so what i need to do now is i need to click on this one here i need to use my flip button which is this one over here and i'm going to flip it in this direction okay so now i've got one blade facing in one direction and one blade facing in the other direction okay all is good so far so there's my one blade and here is my second blade now i selected both of those i don't know if you saw how i did it i held the shift button down clicked on one keep it held down click on the second one right next job click on the duplicate and repeat button or use Control d 
I've made a copy. Now, my center of these two shapes should be in the middle of the gray bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that around and it creates me another blade for my propeller. I've dragged it around to 60 degrees. OK, I'm not going to click on anything now because I want to do a really, really clever thing. Right. And if I go control D again, it automatically remembers that I had 60 degree rotate on and it gives me another propeller blade. OK, so I've now got a one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, it's six. It's six times six. 36 or 360 degrees rotation that would give me a six bladed turbine fan which you could try and see if it works i quite like having a three side propeller which is kind of what you see on the turbines around about isn't it um so i did i go too fast i don't know let's hope not uh, if i just now quickly grab that and group it it'll all go one color and I've now got a propeller that I can use, right? Now I could save that into shape generators and make it so that you can you can access it via Tinkercad, but it's kind of cheating, I guess. Quite like it if you could draw it yourself. I've done it in about seven minutes. It's gonna take you a little bit longer, but go on, give it a go, see how you get on. All right, best best, best of luck.